What's up guys, Chris from Closet Weave here and we're back in my closet to watch episode 20 of Claymore. So last episode we had the uh, conclusion of the fight with uh, those three awakened males, I think they were all males, uh, against the Claymores. Um, they were able to work together, take all three of them out. Um, the inexperienced Claymores were getting hit and tagged a lot but it seems like that that was what Miria's plan was just so those claymores uh, were able to get experience against some awakens uh, because none of the claymores died they, they, they just got injured um, yeah and it was a very successful uh, uh, defense by the claymores and then we saw Rocky who uh, is looking was looking at like that graveyard of claymore swords uh, looking for Claire just in case if Claire was taken out he was looking at the uh, the marking of the sword and then he ran into who I'm assuming is uh, Isley the uh, the leader of the of the Awakens in the north here and there's a girl with him whose name is Priscilla and I, I didn't recognize her it didn't look like the Priscilla we know but there's only one Priscilla in this show, <laughs> and uh, that's her. Um, Rocky is with Claire's uh, main objective, and if Claire finds out about that, um, she's just gonna go into beast mode or something because of her hatred towards Priscilla and uh, her her love and affection towards Rocky and how she she wants him to be safe. So. Uh, let's see what happens next. Let's jump into episode 20 of Claymore, The Carnage in the North, part 3. <laughs> She's like obsessed with him too. Oh, yeah. Is that the same Priscilla? いや、なんです。すいません。これやっぱり人に行きません。ピーターに行かなきゃ。それじゃ。待ちたまえ。あ、僕。僕たちの旅をやめるつもりはないんだ。ピーターなら僕は同じだし、一緒に行ってくれない
ベネムだやられた装備の替えを取りに来た今は私が着替えてるんだ離乳しやがれ Oh, what's going on with you, Undine? <laughs> I'm going to get the first one. Oh, she's breaking her down. <laughs> What you, what's going on? You, you crying in there? Oh. Oh, that's her powers. Yup. <laughs> we, we see your true form. Dang, she just told her her whole story. <laughs> she just broke it down. Look at that. And, and she just covered for her. Oh, assuming this is her, this is her story. Jesus! Ooh. Look at that. The Claymores. You got a support system here. Mm. She knows about Elena. <laughs> or what? No. We doing a test of strength out here? Oh, Jean. Oh, okay. There we go, Claire. Just be honest. Just be open and honest. Okay, she just laid it all out there. Look at that, Claire. Honesty, the best policy. <laughs> Don't keep no secrets out here. Oh yeah, we making a pack too. Yeah. Hey, what the? Oh. 
当然だ私ら人間なんだからな<笑>あそうだな Okay, we just got some nice, nice morale boosting going on out here. Some good camaraderie. But this just feels like the calm before the storm. Yep, see, <laughs> it'll become a battlefield again. <laughs> Rocky, exhausted. Uh oh, somebody's spying. Yeah, no way this guy isn't Isley. He got he got super senses. Who the, heck, who the heck are you? Rigaldo? Yep. Looking like it. Looking like Isley. Twenty-seven. This man is sending 27 of them. Jesus. And the battle is about to begin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, well, well. It's all a setup for uh, the big battle that's about to happen. I'm assuming that white haired guy that Rocky uh, ran into is Isley, but maybe it isn't. Maybe Isley still chilling in the back somewhere uh, because Rigaldo there was, he just said, someone of your stature. Um, so maybe he's like a higher up in Isley's army and. His Lee is not, not even there. And I don't even know if that's the, the Priscilla um, Claire is looking for. It's crazy. I'm sure I'm going to get all the answers uh, uh, when I keep watching. But yeah, this episode was basically like um, trying to boost the morale of all the Claymores. A lot of them were feeling uh, shook by that attack by the Awakens. And then we got a lot of backstory, you know, we got Undine's backstory, uh, Denevi's backstory, Denevi covering for Undine, not letting her secret be revealed to any of the other Claymores. Um, Claire and Flora had their little, little scrap and made up right there because Claire just decided to tell, uh, uh, tell her truth, tell everything about where the right arm came from. And yeah, like everything was just getting resolved within the claim wars. Um, just getting ready for the for the battle they know that's about to come. And um, it looks like it's gonna be a big big crazy battle again. Uh, the, the white haired guy uh, said he wants to send 27. So I'm guessing the 27 awakens to Pieta. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a battle. Now I'm expecting some deaths. Um, they were able to handle three, but 27, that sounds crazy. Uh, so yeah, can't wait to see what happens next. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.